Just before lunch one day, a puppet show was put on at school. It was called Mr. Bungle Goes to Lunch. It was fun to watch. In the puppet show, Mr. Bungle came to the boys' room on his way to lunch. He looked at his hands. His hands were dirty, and his hair was messy. But Mr. Bungle didn't stop to wash his hands or comb his hair. He went right to lunch. <laughs> then, instead of getting into line at the lunchroom, Mr. Bungle pushed everyone aside and went right to the front. Even though this made the children laugh, no one thought that was a fair thing to do. Then, in the lunchroom, Mr. Bungle was so clumsy and impolite that he knocked over everything, and no one wanted to sit next to him. And when he finally knocked his own tray off the table, that was the end of the puppet show. The children knew that even though Mr. Bungle was funny to watch, he wouldn't be much fun to eat with. Phil knew that a Mr. Bungle wouldn't have many friends. He wouldn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Later, Miss Brown said it was time for the children who ate in the cafeteria to go to lunch. She hoped there weren't any Mr. Bungles in this room. Phil stopped to return a book to Miss Brown while his friends went on to the lunchroom. He would have to catch up with them later. On his way to catch up with his friends, Phil almost walked past the boys' room, but he stopped and thought. Were his hands clean? No, they were a little dirty. Phil remembered that Mr. Bungle didn't wash his hands. Mr. Bungle's hair was messy, too. Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Inside the boys' room, Phil was surprised to see some of his friends washing their hands, too. Phil washed his hands well, with lots of soap. Then he rinsed the soap off. Phil dried his hands well, too. When he was finished, he threw the paper towel in the basket where it belonged. And then he made sure that his hair looked neat. Now Phil and his friends were ready for lunch. There was a line of children waiting to get into the lunchroom when Phil got there. He saw some boys he knew at the front of the line. They waved for him to go up to the front with them. But Phil didn't want to break into line as Mr. Bungle did. So Phil went to the end. That was the fair thing to do. He would see his other friends inside the lunchroom. The line moved very fast, and soon Phil was inside. First, he picked up his tray. Then he got his silverware. He put his knife, fork, and spoon neatly on the tray. And then he slid his tray along. He always enjoyed looking at the good food in the cafeteria. It tasted good and was good for him, too. Instead of having a sandwich today, Phil decided to take the hot lunch. Phil took some bread and butter, too, and he knew what else he wanted, milk. But Alice took the last carton on the tray. Maybe there was more milk, so he said, may I please have some milk? Phil remembered to say, may I, and please. That was very polite. Yes, there was more milk. Phil remembered to say thank you when he took the carton of milk. Phil had good manners. He didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle in the lunchroom. Phil didn't want to forget his dessert. The cake looked delicious. At the end of the line, the lunchroom supervisor said she had noticed how polite Phil was and she smiled at him. She wouldn't smile at a Mr. Bungle. Phil went to the table where his friends were. 
He put his tray down carefully, pulled out his chair quietly, and sat down. He knew his friends wouldn't like a noisy Mr. Bungle at their table. There was someone Phil liked, Freddy. He always brought his lunch from home. It looked good. Freddy had a sandwich, an apple, a cookie, and milk. Before Phil began to eat, he always put a napkin on his lap. So did Freddy. Everyone liked Freddy. He was very polite. For example, if he had food in his mouth when someone talked to him, he always took time to chew the food with his mouth closed and swallow before he answered. Phil noticed how straight and tall Freddy usually sat. Freddy kept his feet on the floor, too. Phil would rather be like Freddy than like Mr. Bungle. Another polite person everyone liked was Alice. For example, when Alice sneezed, she covered her mouth and nose. This protected her friends at the table from any germs. While Phil and his friends ate, a boy ran past their table. You shouldn't run in the lunchroom. Only Mr. Bungle would do that. Phil and his friends wouldn't like to have a Mr. Bungle at their table. Then lunchtime wouldn't be as much fun as it is. Phil ate slowly and enjoyed his lunch. Finally, he had eaten everything except his dessert. He saved his cake for last. Only a Mr. Bungle would eat his dessert before he'd finished the rest of his lunch. And Phil wasn't a Mr. Bungle. The cake was good. Phil drank his milk carefully. Some children are messy when they drink milk, but not Phil. As each of Phil's friends finished, they didn't leave the table, but waited for all the others to finish eating too. Phil was the last one done. He wiped his mouth and hands carefully with his napkin. Then he cleaned the table where he sat. He didn't want to leave his place at the table dirty. Everyone at the table cleaned his own place well. But look at that table. It was left very messy. Phil thought a Mr. Bungle must have sat there. But Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. So he put his chair neatly into place. And his table looked fine. Not a piece of paper or scrap of food was left on it. No, Mr. Bungle sat here. Phil's friends were careful to put their waste papers and empty milk cartons where they belonged. In this way, they helped keep the lunchroom clean. Phil was certain that Mr. Bungle wouldn't put his paper in the waste basket and his empty carton on the milk tray. Mr. Bungle probably wouldn't bother to put his lunch tray in the right place either, but Phil and his friends did. Lunch was good today. And then Miss Brown told Phil and his friends how proud she was of them. They had left their table the neatest in the lunchroom. No one here was a Mr. Bungle, and no one wanted to be. Are you like Mr. Bungle? Mr. Bungle is a shame because he spoils lunchtime. Don't be like Mr. Bungle. Have good lunchtime manners, and lunch will be more fun for everyone.